Band structure with HSE tutorial. Create a simulation, by navigating to the job designer page. Then, open the workflow tab, and select from the list the band structure, HSE, workflow. Then, open the unit component of the first preliminary SCF subworkflow, and inspect the Quantum Espresso input file displayed at the bottom. This step is necessary for defining the grid of K points, which will later be extracted manually in the subsequent step. Now, try opening the second subworkflow. It is used to manually extract the K points, together with their respective weights, and insert them as an explicit list inside the input script for the final HSE calculation, with the help of regular expressions. Finally, open also the main HSE calculation subworkflow, and inspect its first unit. Notice how the grid of special K points is not generated automatically, but is defined manually by importing the list of K points extracted in the preceding subworkflow. After that, navigate to Compute tab, and set Compute Configuration. Here, we use one node with 16 cores on the OR16Q, since the HSE method is quite computationally expensive. Then, set the name for the job. Here, we call it, HSE Band Structure QE Job. Next, save the job. It can then be selected and submitted to the compute queue, for execution. The status of the calculation will change from pre-submitted to submitted, and then to active. Please wait, until the job has finished running. When the job is finished, open it, to inspect the final results. The band structure dispersion plot can be found at the bottom of the results page. This final result is in agreement with the published literature. This completes the present tutorial.